We once watched a crowd pull a drowned child from the lake, blue lipped and dressed in water's long green silk, and she lay for dead. This first verse explains about how a drowning child was pulled from the lake. Blue lips. Blue lips meaning she was numb, dying, and very cold. When it says, when the poem states that she was dressed in water's long green silk, this is the breeze from the lake. It gives a fairy like impression. Tears are filling up their glasses, no expression. No the kneeling on the earth, a heroine, her red head bowed. Her wartime cotton rock soaked. My mother gave a stranger's child her breath. The earth indicates that uh, she is sort of praying, and this is uh, proved in the next line, which uh, is by the bowels, which is like bowing to God, praying to God for life. The colour red indicates life, because uh, red is the colour of your blood. It's also uh, contrast to the colour of blue, which means death in the previous uh, verse. Uh, then there's a slight jealousy in <laughs> the, the next line, because uh, my mother gave the strangest child her breath. So it's like saying jealousy. And uh, yeah, that's that verse. No tomorrow. The crowd stood silent drawn by the tread of it. The child breathed, bleating, and rose in my mother's hands. My father took her home to a poor house and watched her thrashed for almost drowning. The crowd stood silent, like dead, means creates tension of the silence. And where the child bleating, Christianity idea of a lamb, of innocence and God, and roses, the colour, returns rosy red of life. And watching her being thrashed adds pain but no justice to the situation. What's that there? Well, it's that troubled surface, something else. Shadowy under the dip fingers of willows, where satiny mud blooms in cloudiness after treading heavy webs of swans as their wings beat and whistle in the air. Was I there means that uh, is a rhetorical question which creates tension and confusion. Dips fingers and willows means it's talking about the sinister dark omen. Mud blooms of cloudiness makes uh, um, its memories being mixed together. And after the tragic treading heavy webs of swans. Basically means the swans are graceful, but they kick up mud. This mud is like memories, and when they get kicked up, they mix together. All those things lie under closing water in that lake with the poor man's daughter. Uh, it's like all your memories are lost at the bottom of a lake until someone dives in and drags them out or disturbs it and the rhyme cup at the end kind of finishes off the poem and brings it to a stop.